the human Latios Lights. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua. Here we are in San Francisco. Last time, we took on the Battle Tower and got some more legendary Pokemon. This time, we're actually going to do a little bit of backtracking. And we're going to battle some familiar faces. Because one thing that you can do in this game, which isn't exactly uh, a normal thing for uh, Ruby and Sapphire. It is a thing in Emerald, but this is a little bit different. It's, we're going to re-battle the gym leaders. So, in Polka Aqua, you do have the option of um, doing post-game rematches against gym leaders. I didn't mean to go this way. Let's go this way, and here we go. So, we are able to re-battle all of the uh, gym leaders. So, let's let's do that. Welcome back! As you know, I am the gym leader. This isn't just a trick nor illusion. I'm awesome because my life is legend- wait for it! Dairy legendary! So, you want a battle? Yes. Would you prefer a single battle or a double battle? So once again, you do get the option of single double or the, the random option of either one gym leader's choice. So you know what? We're gonna do that. Challenge accepted. So let's go. So we are challenged by Leader Barney. So he is opting to go single battle, which I'm not complaining about. I'm not going to complain about that. Alright, let's... I guess Silverwind? That is probably the best bet here. Alright, come on. Give me the plus one. Give me the plus one. Plus one. Alright, we're not getting the plus one. We are avoiding the rock slide, which is amazing. That gives us yet another chance to get that plus one. So you know what? I'll take it. Because we're going to we're gonna take this thing down, though, because we outspeed it. Uh, he's either going to uh, heal it or let it faint. The Stantler really can't do much to us. So... But we're still not getting the plus one. That's that's unfortunate. All right. You know what? It's okay. If we don't get it this time, we're probably... It's not that big a deal. But you got crit, though. Not that that matters. But yeah, we went for three silver wins and not a single Omni Boost. That's, that's sad. All right. Next up is Lunala. Yeah. Um. These gym leader rematches, they're not messing around. They're really not messing around. All right. Let's Shadow Ball. This is this might not KO even though it's quite effective. Um, okay, we are gonna get the KO, so that's gonna take down Lunala. Nice. All right, next up is Espeon. Uh, I guess we'll stay in. I would have preferred to be a plus one when we do this, but you know that's okay. If we had, if we got the plus one, we would have. We would have been able to cleanly sleep. Although, then again, this is... We are doing some damage here. We are definitely putting in some work. Alright, next up is Solgaleo. Alright, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna go into victory. We can burn that thing. Might as well burn it. We could unpaid it, but yeah, this is... I can't let that thing get to plus six. I know that much. Alright. Seriously? You're gonna play that game? Alright. Seriously? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is with... <laughs> something of... I can't remember. It has, obviously it has something it has something like a King's Rock. Oh my goodness. What is this? And now you're at plus one. That is not good. Alright, finally we're going to land a Sacred Fire, though. So... 
you know, at least we're gonna land another hit on this thing. Whether he has to heal or what. So. Because that thing is burned. So either it's gonna die to the burn or he's gonna heal up. It's his pick. Alright, that's fine. That is fine. We're gonna take this thing down. Alright. Um, I never said these battles were going to be, um, particularly easy. Uh, <laughs> alright. They are gym leaders. Um, you'd expect that they'd be stronger in the post game than they were in the main game. Uh, although then again, some of these gym leaders were, are, are not that easy to battle in the, the first time around. But then again, you were also at a, you also probably had a weaker team. Because my assumption would be that your team would get exponentially stronger throughout the game because A, they get higher in level, and B, you know, you probably pick up some stronger bonds. Unless you've straight up used the same exact team throughout the entire game, which, if you do, fair enough. Alright, that thing is Rock Slide? Okay, that's, that's pretty much it for victory. Plus one from a Solgaleo, we're not taking it. And it's a crit on top of that. I Somehow I don't think the crit mattered, but you never know. Alright, Pink, your job is to... Uh, your job is to basically just survive that thing. All you gotta do is take one hit. Although the thing does have Sacred Fire, so I probably didn't think that one quite through. But then again, yeah, plus one. Oh, we're taking it, we're taking it. It's not stab. And we're flinching, but it doesn't even matter because that thing is going to die at the burn. So, Victini does still technically get the KO. And we'll be back at full health, so that's nice. Alright, next up is Alakazam. Alright. Let's us unpaid A. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I was... When I was originally coming up with the idea for the move unpaid A, I originally wanted to call it reverse paid A, but, you know, character limit. <laughs> Alright. I mean, unpaid A sounds awkward. Sounds like you're, you're undoing a payday, day, but the idea is you're basically hurling coins from antimatter. It's supposed to be a ghost type move. Um, that's why in uh, in Grass Jewel 2 it is a ghost type move. That was the game where the move actually originated. Um, theoretically, that is. It's, it was originally a ghost type move, but what happened was I actually turned it into a, um, how do we do it? I don't know what we think it. But the thing was, I actually turned it into a, into a dark type move in, um, originally because, uh, in the non- well, in the non-emerald based games, because, well, in, uh, in Polk Aqua, originally in this game, I didn't have the physical special split in here. So it was kind of awkward to try to, uh, well, the idea was it was supposed to be a special version of Payday, but goes to the physical type, not a special type. Of course, once I added in the physical special split, uh, I was uh, free to change it to a ghost type move, but then at that point I already gave it to a bunch of, uh, it was already essentially um, a dark type move within the scope of the game. So at that point I figured, you know, I'll just leave it a dark type move. So essentially it is a dark type move, but conceptually it's supposed to be a ghost type move because the idea is taking coin, is creating coins out of antimatter and hurling them. But. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. With that, we have defeated Arnie. 
Wow! You've done it and accomplished the Possimpable! All while honoring the Bro Code, you are one awesome Pokemon trainer. In the name of Half, I now declare you the winner. Alright, we got 22,400 bucks for winning, and we picked up an additional, like, almost 2,000 from, uh, from Unpayday. Hey, I just used my Pokemon to score with a new play at the Gym Leader. Challenge accepted! Alright, fair enough. So, moving right along, we have, uh, defeated him. Alright, let's move on to the next gym. Now, um... Each of these gym leaders, you can battle them both in single or double battles, both uh, during the main game when you were battling them originally to get the gym badge, and also post-game when you're rebattling. You can rematch them as often as you want. So if you just talk to him again, he'll ask if he wants to rebattle you, even if you just battled him. So it's not like an emerald where you have to wait until they call you or something, or when they're ready. No, they're always going to be ready to battle post-game. So you can battle as often as you want, as many times as you want. It doesn't really, uh, whenever you want, it, it doesn't really matter. But the um, one thing to keep in mind, though, with that is that they, um, that the team, they, they offer single or double battles. Their teams are essentially the same between single or double battles. The only difference is, in double battles, they tend to have fewer moves that attack their allies. So there's mo there's less, um... I mean, there's fewer Pokemon, like Earthquake, for instance. So... Something like that. So they might have a different move in its place. Alright. I'm a little concerned about this one, considering... It is a Steel-type one, and, well, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Let's go. Welcome back. I'm usually busy coaching the basketball team, but I guess I'm free at the moment. Would you like to battle once again? Sure. Would you prefer a single battle or a double battle? You know what? I'll let you choose. Very well. Now I, Whitey, the leader of Tree Hill Gym, challenge you. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, so Leader Whitey would like to battle. He is choosing a double battle here, though. So I'm a little concerned, to be honest. I'm a little bit concerned. All right. They both scare me. Although, admittedly, that Toga tomorrow does bother me. You know what? I'm going to T-Wave on the Skarmory and let it sit there forever. Like, T-Wave on the Skarmory and then just focus on whatever's on the right. I think we'll be in good shape. Alright, we are, we are one-shotting the Toga Mario. Alright, next up is Lucario. Yeah. Let's do that. Because Skarmory doesn't scare me as much as Lucario. It is Rock Slideness, which does hurt, but we can take it. Now that it's very paralyzed... I think we'll be good. Um, this is resisted, but you know what? I kind of want to get the boost. I want the boost. I know I probably should have gone for like Shadow Ball or something, but I want to get the plus one, and then and then Dex can really put in some work here for us. All right, Genesec. Okay. All right, yeah, we're not getting the we're not getting the boost. All right, Meteor Mash. I mean, as long as you don't get the plus one, we're good. Okay, now I think you gotta go. I really think you gotta go now. Ugh. But you're still paralyzed. Alright, we're gonna power flinch you. Let's power flinch you. Well. Let us take out the Genesect. I probably actually could have gotten away with Silver Winding here, to be honest, but whatever. Genesect is down. 
All right, so next up is Metagross. Oh, no, you know what? That's a special move. You're a plus one, but that's special, so... Hmm. All right. Metagross must go. It's that simple. All right. Strain Punch. Should do about half. Actually, it did more than half, so at least we're getting some health back. All right. So Metagross will go down. The Shadow Ball. All right. Dex grew to level 100. Wants to learn extreme speed. You know what? I think I'll pass on that. Interesting, but I think I'll pass. All right, and finally, he's got Heatran. All right. Well... That Heatran's gotta go. That is a threat. <laughs> that is a legitimate threat. Alright. So, the Drain Punch. That is gonna Oko, though. So, you know what? That's perfectly fine. In fact, we're back at full health. Nice. Alright, so Thunder's gonna land Skarmory, and that should Oko. Or at least, it's not even a full health, so yeah, that'll, that'll take it down. That'll finish things off. So, that worked pretty well. Chill and Dex work pretty well together. Alright, so with that, we defeated Leader Whitey. Wahahaha, <laughs> fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Alright, and with that, we got 44,800 bucks. And there we go. There's no shame in being afraid. Hell, we're all afraid. What you gotta do is figure out what you're afraid of, because when you put a face on it, you can beat it. Better yet, you can use it. Most of the time, the greatest rewards come from doing the things that scare you the most. Maybe you'll even, maybe you'll get everything you wish for. Maybe you'll get more than you've ever, you ever could have wished, um, imagined. Who knows where life will take you. The road is long, and in the end, the journey is the destination. Okay, cool. Cool. Let us move on to the next gym. Alright. We're heading to L.A. Okay, since you can't fly there, we'll have to do the next best thing and just, you know, take the shuttle there. Yeah, I know we could have walked there all the way from Mystic Falls, but this is a little bit faster. Now, what am I doing? What am I doing? We don't have to go heal up in there. Because there is a Chansey right here. It is so easy to heal up in this game. Either you find a Chansey in the overworld, which will softball your entire team to health, or, you know... Literally any any house with a bed, just get into the bed, take a nap, and you're good. Or, you know, you can always just go to a Pokemon Center. That also works. Alright, Doyle, let's do this. Hey, how's it going? Me? Well, I like the place. Not much with the view, but it's got a nice back cave sort of air to it. It's all about money. What about friendship and family and all those things that are priceless like they say in that credit card commercial? Oh, you wanted a battle again. Sure, let's do this. Would you prefer a single battle or a double battle? Uh, you know what? Yeah, dealer's choice. Let's go. Very well. Now let me see what you're made of. Alright, let's go. I feel like by letting the gym leader choose, it makes it a slightly more cha um, bigger challenge, only because this way you can't prepare ahead of time for what kind of uh, battle you're getting into. He is going for the double battle, though. He is opting double, so Luxray and Umbreon. And we're at minus one now. Not exactly happy about that, to be totally honest. All right, so let's... The Luxray does scare me more than the Umbreon, though. Alright, let's tag team on the Luxray. I'm gonna let the Umbreon just sit there. Hopefully it doesn't do too much to us. Hmm. Alright. Alright, come on. Give me the plus one. Give me the plus one. Come on. Alright, we're not getting that plus one. That kind of sucks. 
He's bringing in Yveltal. All right, he's just going for power here. All right, you know what? That's... That, 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 that scares me. We're at minus two. And you're going for the unpaid, eh? All right. Petya Veltal has to go. We're at minus two, but it's got to go. It's got to go. I'm hoping Ice School Crash at least brings us the range for Thunder. We're missing the Thunder. Dex, you can't miss that. That, that's one of those things you just, you can't miss that. <gasps> Hanging on! Yo, Magic Focus Band! Oh no! Oh no. Alright, the Umbreon's got an Omniboost going. Okay. Now, here's the thing. It might look kind of odd that we just got attacked while the thing is using Sharpen. It's kind of a... Sharpen was buffed to be an Omni Boost. The problem is, um... In order to get that to work programming-wise, it had to actually do damage. So... It does a negligible amount of damage to a target. I mean... Basically, it's using, it's essentially doing the ancient power thing, but it's a guaranteed activation, well, a guaranteed boost, because it does no, uh, no real damage. But it is completely broken in that it's basically a free Omni boost. So, it's, it's scary. <laughs> All right. But, on the bright side, since this is a normal type move, um, you know, take advantage of it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's get rid of that Zoroark. You know, we're plus... Or plus one. I think we can get rid of the Umbreon. Actually, no, we're not getting rid of the Umbreon from this range. Alright, we are gonna crit on the Zoroark, which is kinda nice. And bringing in the Earth Ring, which does scare me. Not gonna lie, that thing scares me. Alright. So we are gonna get another Omni Boost, so even if he heals up the Umbreon, we're good. Although, never mind, because he did he did something that is going to kill us now. That's one thing the Magic Focus Band can help us with. Alright. You know what? That's okay. That's it's okay. We can finish this. Alright, Ursaring, you gotta go. And let's Sacred Fire on the on the Umbreon. Alright. Although, you know what? I don't even care if you're moonlighting. I mean, like, bothers me that you're plus one, but... You're gonna get burned. You can't really synchronize that onto victory. So... Plus, you're not taking the drain punch anyway. Even a plus one. Although, we are at minus two, so... I don't know. Minus two versus plus one, I think it's still enough. Yeah, there we go. At that range. 
Alright, so with that, we're taking down the Umbreon. And we defeated Leader Doyle. Whoa, wow, you made a much better challenge than I expected. Great job. Okay, you've got me. At least now I know not to bet against you. Alright. With that, we got some money. And we beat him. I wonder what Angel and Cordelia are up to. Hmm. I wonder as well. Alright. Well, they're in the Hyperion Hotel. Now, in this game, you can't exactly um, battle Angel. Angel investigations, we help the helpless. There are three things I don't do. Tan, date, sing in public. Also, I don't dance. So, do you need help him? Do you need any assistance? Do you want me to rip that guy's head off for you? Because, you know, I can, really. I can just actually rip his head right off his body. I can do that. Alright. Can't battle Angel in this game. But, you just might be able to in the sequel, maybe. Alright. So, let's head to San Francisco. So, it is convenient there is that shuttle right between L.A. and San Francisco, so, you know, you don't have to worry about flying if you want to go between them. It's just very slightly faster. But it's only between those two towns. Alright, so that would bring us to the San Francisco gym. Alright. Okay, now this gym also kind of scares me because given that we are, our starter is an ice type, we're at a slight disadvantage type-wise. Alright. So, let's... Let's just hope for the best, because I don't really know how else we're going to do this. Alright. Let's go. Welcome back to the San Francisco Pokemon Gym. You must be, uh, still be having quite the adventure. I'd probably do some exploring myself, but I have school, dance lessons, and this gym. In this gym, I use fire-type Pokemon to represent my passion for battling. Putting out even a small flame is easier said than done. So, how about another battle? Sure. Do you prefer a single battle or a double battle? You know what? I'll let you choose. Very well, show me what you've got. Alright, let's go. Alright, single or double? Let's see. So, leader Stephanie liked the battle. She is going for the single battle. You know what? I'm good with that. I'm, I'm more than happy to do a single battle right now. This is probably about as good a gym as any for us to take on in single battle format anyway. Um... All right, Rock Slide and KO. All right, great. Next up is Sunflora. Hmm. All right. I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to just spam Rock Slide because that's pretty much what we have for, uh, coverage against fire types. Okay, so that thing is down. Next up is Bell Awesome. Alright. Now, pretty much, I'm pretty sure all of the gym leaders post-game have at least one legendary Pokémon. So, just keep that in mind. That this could be a this could get this could get a bit challenging. All right, next up is Flareon. So you know what? I think we got this. I don't want to get complacent, but you know, I think we're in a I think we're in a good position right now. Now the Bell Awesome is down, especially. All right. 
Next up is Arcanine. Okay, now I'm a little scared. I'm gonna have taken down her ace, but she's um It's not necessarily her strongest Pokemon at this point. Well, especially post game everything's level 100. Alright. Arcanine is gonna go for the E speed. And we're at minus one. Alright. The good thing is it's not going for anything stab. It already did its move, so even if we don't KO, which we didn't KO. Hmm. She's gonna heal. I might as well drain punch right now. Just to get the health back. I guess I could have meteor mashed, but it's quad resisted. So that would accomplish near nil. Uh, alright. This should do a little less than half, but should get us closer to full health. We're 10 under. That's fine, because another rock slide will KO. Since Arcanine is fire electric. So, alright. Cool. Arcanine's down, and next up is Volcanion. I guess she won in the battle tower, too. What can I say? Alright. Let's rock slide. Hope for the best. I get a bad feeling. If Arcanine took that, I get a bad feeling about Volcanion. Alright, he's gonna eat that. But we got the flinch! We got the flinch! Yo, alright. You know what? Alright, now Meteor Mash is quad resisted, but it should do enough that it should finish it off. I guess I could have drain punched, but whatever. That is fine. We're good. We are good. Plus one. Okay, that's game. That is game. Volcanian, you are going down. Take this rock slide, and that's GG. That is GG. You're not, you're not taking a plus one. Wait, I guess a neutral rock slide. Not a, not neutral, but a plus zero uh, rock slide. You're not taking that. With that, we have defeated Leader Stephanie. How rude. I'm just kidding. You won fair and square. All right, we got 22,400 bucks for winning. You are way too powerful. I wonder if there's anyone stronger than you out there. Hmm. Gotta wonder. Gotta wonder if there will ever be someone to uh, travel around and be stronger than us. Hmm. Who knows? But we should heal up. And you know what? I think on that note, I think we'll take on the rest of the gym leaders next time. Just, you know, split it in half. So, thank you for watching, and as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we go take on the final four gym leader rematches. Goodbye.